So say we wanted to add some fractions. One half plus Now we're back to 7 tenths, and if you want the decimal answer, 0.7, okay, and that gets us between them. If you decide that was the wrong thing you've done, then you can back, go through here with this replay button, or you can go forward, and it'll take you back, so say, you misread it, and it's actually subtract. So we get 3 tenths. Let's look at some more functions. Say you are asked to find uh, 2 to the power of 5. We press this button right here. This will let us put anything here. So we could have just put a square in. And that's 4 below that. If you want to do a change that, you can go up into that make that a 5. This is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is going to give us 32. Okay, and you can keep changing that number. So 2 to the power 6, 2 to the power 7, and so on and so forth. Right, if you do it, it's in. So say we want to take the square root of 52. It gives us what we call an exact answer again. And that's kind of right, because the square root of 49 is 7. The square root of 64 is 8, so it's going to be somewhere in between. Now the cube root. Shift, and then the square root. You'll see above it, that little cube root. So, if I do that, 27. 3 cubed is 27, so the cube root 27 is 3. Let's do this one. Cube root of 125 plus the square root of 25. So we can write this in. So if it's in your book, just write it as it is. That was going to give us a total of 10. Cube root of 125 is 5 plus the square root of 25. What I've got is 5 squared. Multiply by, we press shift, pi, highest number, 5 squares times pi. You don't even need to put the multiplication in. 25 